Hi guys, it's another Freaky Friday. Welcome, welcome. Um, this week our artist spotlight is going to be a little bit different. First, it's a female again. We don't do a lot of girls, so it's nice to talk about girl power in the art world. Second, she is not a sculptor and she's not a painter. She's actually a photographer. This is the first photographer we're going to talk about this entire year. So way to go to her for making it happen. So our artist, without further ado, a female American photographer is Sandy Scogland. So Sandy is an amazing artist and she's a little bit quirky too. You may really like her work or you may really hate it. Students are about 50-50. So we're going to talk about it. Now, she could do photography of like landscapes, nature scenes, portraits, but her art is actually a little bit crazier than that. It usually has to focus with colors and making odd scenes. So here we go. Here's our first one. So this is a photograph that she did. You can see that it takes a lot of work to set up one of her photographs because very little is photoshopped. So there is actually a purple car in the studio. There's actually somebody wearing a yellow suit. There's actually these things floating around here. She doesn't like to edit her photos a lot. So you can see that she takes months setting up her studio to look picture perfect. And these photos are a little crazy. Usually, again, she focuses on two colors and she'll add little plaster sculptures into her studio, completely handmade. So take, for example, this was one where she had a lot of black squirrels in her studio. So she had to mold them a lot out of plaster and then spray paint them to be ready for her photo shoot. And so she's really interested in getting the exact right shade, the exact right color. Here is another one. You can see this one took a lot of setup. There's a blue room with a lot of orange goldfish that had to be hung from the ceiling. Some orange goldfish coming out of the dresser here. Um, and this one is called the revenge of the goldfish. So it's a little quirky. It's a little silly. And it's really fun. This next one is called the cocktail party. So you can see here, she was really into the color orange. And at first it looks like a normal party um, until you realize that everything is covered in Cheetos. And so she had to glue Cheetos to her models, to the floor, to the walls, on the table, on the chairs. You can imagine just how many Cheetos she had to use to make this photograph. But it's sort of fun and is a bright pop of color. I can't imagine her ever doing black and white photography. Okay, here we have one. And it is a gray room and these cats almost look like nuclear cats. Like a post-apocalyptic world here. And you can see they're all the same color. Some of them are in different poses, though. And it looks like the owners just don't care. Like, it looks like she's just getting ready for breakfast. Like, everything is normal. And he's just waiting for breakfast. Like, again, everything is normal. When clearly there's been an invasion of cats in their kitchen. And then we have, last but not least, this beautiful piece where everything was painted red. The tables, the chairs, napkins, tablecloth, utensils, dishes, except for these foxes. Which is ironic because usually foxes are red in real life. And here, they've actually been left gray. So you can see that she's playing on her weirdness that things are not as they normally are when it comes to her 
photographs. And so I understand, again, this is an artist we usually have to keep an open mind about, saying, oh, do we like her stuff? Do we not like her stuff? If you don't like her work, that's okay, but we still have to go online and be Sherlock, and we just gotta figure out what we can about this artist and some of her works. I will be here patiently waiting for your Google turn-in, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, guys!